back to another episode <laughs> of the Dim and Diller podcast. What is this? Episode... Uh, episode 13? 1,347? I think we're almost at 2.4K. Ooh, uh, I'd I'd, say I'm that far right, off? Yeah. Damn, fuck. Yeah, yeah. You were so close, buddy. I, I get it. The weeks, they meld together. Wait, so what episode know? was that again? Uh, two, two point. Uh, sorry, it's episode two thousand three hundred eighty nine. I feel like that changed. Episode. I feel like that changed three times. I feel like you don't know what episode we're on. <laughs> I said almost. I almost said two point four k, and that time it's two thousand three hundred eighty nine. That's almost two point four. Oh, okay. I am not wrong. Okay. 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 Yo, I forgot. You used the power of math and rounding. Yeah, if you're trying to get, if you're trying to catch me you missing, say gat? <laughs> you say <said> about- gat. <laughs> you trying to gat? <laughs> Yet, dude. <laughs> you, know, you know what Naruto says? Uh, like Date Bayo, that shit. Uh, or, yeah. Believe it. Yeah. Fucking, I I went into a call yesterday. First thing I, the first thing I heard was Gyate Bayo. Oh and my I left. god. Oh I, my god. <laughs> I left. I went to bed. I was done for the night, dude. Dude, I have something funny to tell you about Gat. What? So fucking. I have this Discord server where I'm, I'm like, kind of new to, I would say. Probably, like, a week and a half I've been in this Discord server with, like, some new friends. That's pretty new. Yeah, but, uh, like, the f- literally, I think, like, the first day I was on, they were talking about how they just had to ban somebody. And I was like, and I was like, oh, like, why did, why did you have to ban somebody? You know, what did he do? That way, you know, I can avoid yeah. stepping on that landmine yeah. in the future. I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm yeah, going to right. <laughs> so, so they start telling me the story and they go, oh yeah, this guy was like basically just like messaging and DMing and sexually harassing all of the women in the Discord server. And I was like, okay, I'm not what down with, fuck? hold on, hold on. I was like, okay, I'm not down with sexual harassment, but just for context, what did he say? <laughs> Just, just to make sure I don't accidentally decide to become a sexual harasser. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me, you know? Exactly. You gotta exactly. cover all my bases. I'm exactly. Saying, okay? <laughs> exactly, dude. But I'm gonna be honest with you. This guy, pretty funny. I'm pretty. This guy's pretty funny. <laughs> this guy's pretty funny. And after pointing that out, everybody was like, "Wait, he is pretty funny." <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was he would he would say funny shit like while flirting. So like he would like he would only message the women in the Discord, right? Okay. And then he would also say like funny stupid shit. Like I think this guy had autism to be honest with you. <laughs> so like like he would message a girl just a cold message has no contact with her prior, right? Cold message. Okay. First thing he says, you got the biggest gat on the server, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane what the fuck? i was like you guys realize you just like banned an autistic guy right for being y'all autistic the, y'all probably been the funniest person in this server I'm, I'm <laughs> literally just, yeah yeah y'all might have made a mistake your weekends are gonna be a lot more boring and you're gonna notice that <laughs> that was pretty funny <laughs> You got the biggest yacht in here is insane, dude. As a fucking cold message, dude. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was pretty I imagine funny. That's like, that's like what, like probably the first time they talked as well. Literally, <laughs> that is. First of all, you gotta have autism or just be the worst person ever to have the <laughs> confidence to be able to message somebody and that's your opener. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like you can hit him with the solid hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, or hello. Leave some some shit, some normal shit. What are you Something doing? You Want to play Valorant? Person. Yeah. What's up? How? What's good? Bro, honestly, Not, as long as you get, get them on to Valorant, yeah. then you can say dumb shit. Just get them on Valorant. <laughs> that sounds like that's that's the craziest end game I've ever heard, bro. Dude, my advice: if you're an Valorant, autistic you dude, you can say some wild shit. Dude, if my advice: if you're an autistic dude. The lines are very blurred on Valor. <laughs> <laughs> you could say some dumb shit on there and kind of get away with it some of the time. It's because if you get in Valorant and you say some dumb shit in a public lobby, 
someone's gonna say dumber shit than you exactly so comparatively, you look like a nicer person <laughs> the bar is low on valorant the bar gets so much lower dude <laughs> oh my god seriously that is why i have such a fucking hard time playing valorant i say every time i talk about valorant this comes up but i hate that goddamn game mm -hmm. solely for its community yeah oh god yeah, yeah. You were part of it at some point. I don't know what you're talking about. Fucking dirty freak. Dude, I'm nothing. I've I'm, seen your I'm just I've a seen holy your maiden. Shorts. I've seen your YouTube shorts. Don't, don't lie to my me. name. I'm a holy maiden. Okay, bro. I'll, let me go to the Glasses Guy VT YouTube channel. My virginity is just, intact. Look at the title. Dude, Dude I still got my hymen. Leave me alone. You still got your hymen. <laughs> 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 Yo, hold up. I might be wrong. This guy's this guy's holy. What the fuck? <laughs> dude, I got isekai into a fucking fantasy world anime and I got nothing but holy power, dude. <laughs> you got are you telling me the implication here is you got isekai into another world and that world was modern day America? <laughs> Yes. What a rough story, buddy. Dude, this, imagine getting isekai here. Couldn't get this bad. <laughs> you live in a fa you live in a high fantasy world, and you fucking die to like a fucking owl bear attack and kills your whole family, and then you get sent here. You get sent here, and suddenly you gotta worry about like a job. You don't have <laughs> papers. Job. Yeah, you're you're an illegal. Immigrant. <laughs> you're an illegal. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough coming in this that world. That would be so rough, dude. Holy oh fuck. my god. You have no social security number? You're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Holy. Oh my god, dude. What a fuck that. We should we should do that. We should make that anime. That, <laughs> I got Isekai. I guarantee you. <laughs> I guarantee you that anime's already been made. That's, that's Oh, dude, that'd be so good. I'd love to see that. There's no way <laughs> anime studios have just completely missed the mark on just a reverse isekai. I know there are reverse isekais, but they're always made as as it makes well, sense okay. to be. Okay, um, in a J Japanese setting. I want to see an America one. Ooh. I feel like you can't really, really you can't really fucked. do that though. <laughs> Well, first of all, if we made it anyway, it would be considered a cartoon because we're both American, so it wouldn't be an anime. I guess. Dude, we've lost before the game even started. We're already cooked, dude. No, this is we'll fucked. have to fight for our goddamn lives like Avatar did. <laughs> dude, I saw a fucking YouTube short of a guy, and he was like, like they brought he his friend. He's playing all the characters in this in this short, I should say. His but okay. there's there's like friend one and friend two. And then mm -hmm. girl that friend two invited over for a blind date for friend one, right? Okay. So friend two is trying to get friend one and blind date girl together. And then they walk into the room. There's anime posters on the wall. And he goes, oh. Or she goes, oh my god, I love anime. And she's like, and, he, and friend one goes, like, oh, sick. What are your favorite animes? And one of the ones that she lists is Avatar The Last Airbender. And he has a <laughs> fucking stroke. <laughs> And then he just goes, and then friend two's just like, dude, shut the fuck up. You don't have to do this. You can't, you can't do this right now, bro. You're scaring the hoes. Please. <laughs> just, just and then leave I was it like, alone for one day. And then I was literally like, oh my God, dude, I am friend one. I can't tell you how many yeah. people I've told Avatar The Last Airbender is not a fucking anime. Dude, you're friend one. I can't believe you. I'm friend one, dude. I've told so many people that Avatar The Last Airbender is not a fucking anime. For the record, it's not, but it also, you you telling me that gives me the same vibe as when I figured out you're the type of person to say the Japanese name of anime. I mean, I am a it's weeb. It's the exact same vibe. Dude, I'm a total <laughs> fucking weeb. I'm a total fucking weeb. <laughs> I'd love to say I am as well, but compared to you, I think I'm just a normie. No, I think you're, I think you're probably a weeb. <laughs> yeah, I think you're a weeb. How many fucking thousands uh, of anime episodes have you watched? 
don't ask me that. That's unfair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That is a loaded question. <laughs> do you have Do you have a my anime list? No, I don't. No. Okay, so <laughs> my anime list is a website that if you don't know, but if to, for the listeners, it re- you can right. it, you can make an account and then you can record and input all the animes that you've ever watched, and then you can kind of keep a record of how many animes you've watched. Which is mm-hmm. nice because then you go to your list and you go like maybe an anime that you watched like fucking 10 years ago that you don't fucking remember. You can just be like, oh, I already watched this. It sucked. I rated it low, but you mm-hmm. forgot it because it sucked. Right, right. Like, I can't tell you how many times I have tried to rewatch God Eater. <clears throat> I, never, I never even watched God Eater. God Eater fucking sucks. Don't watch it. <laughs> Literally one of the worst <laughs> animes. If you want, like, but budget attack on school Titan. Days. <laughs> okay, at least School Days, like, plays to a unsaturated demographic. What's you, the demographic? Or I guess genre. An, un, an unsaturated okay, okay. genre. <laughs> not demographic. <laughs> to the wrong word. <laughs> no, like, there's not that many, like, sports animes. <laughs> what? There's, pro- there's, like, 15. There's, like, 10 or 15 sports animes that are, like, actually worth watching. I don't think we're thinking of the same School Days. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of Days. Okay. You know the soccer yeah. one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Not to be confused with School Days. <laughs> Wait, what's School Days? Wait a second. School Days is, like, it's pretty infamous. It's the one where, like, this guy, he has a crush on a girl, right? Okay. He gets her number. They start dating. Sick. Almost immediately, he chat cheats energy. on her. Ooh, that's giga he, he chat cheats energy. on her. Okay. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> he, che- he cheats on her with um, somebody. Yeah. She starts going mental. Yeah. He I mean, wait, wait, wait. Pause, pause, sex. pause, pause. Women were already mental. Before he cheated on her, <laughs> the woman was already insane. <laughs> Moving on. Fellas, women be shopping. Women anyway. <laughs> fucking crazy. Especially in anime. Let's, let's not run that fact out. Like no 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 okay okay anime women are genuinely crazy no they they are for real on some different literally shit. quick cut to hundred girlfriends the whole concept of it but anyway <laughs> no hundred girlfriends is fucking low key compared to fucking future diaries like come on okay <laughs> you're right but anyways low key so dude. so she starts going crazy I have but she no forgives him right because uh. The FBI could have gotten that out of me. What? <laughs> the FBI could not have gotten that out of me. <laughs> I totally do. It's fucking sick. I've had it for Guantanamo literally. Guantanamo Bay could have I've had it me. for <laughs> 10 years, dog. I've had it for so long. 10 years. Oh, it's crusty now. <laughs> hey, yo, I've watched it. God damn. <laughs> I've watched it. The implication that if you hadn't, it would have gotten crusty. <laughs> that you're admitting to us right now. <laughs> no, don't slander me like this. The holy Lord above couldn't have gotten that out of me. <laughs> dude, my whole bed crusty, dude. It's like stepping on. Oh, it's like stepping on chalk. No. <laughs> <laughs> You 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 slam your hand down on your bed, a bunch of dust comes up. Dude, I have seven. I have over seven thousand episodes of anime watched. I have over like probably twelve thousand fucking chapters of manga read. If my bed's not crusty at this point, I don't know how much worse it can get. You've already hit rock bottom. It's pretty over for me. It's pretty fucking over. Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> Still, dude, a fucking dude, a body okay. pillow. I have you know, okay. Well, I have a manga list on Google Docs because the my anime list uh, manga isn't um, like the encyclopedia of all the mangas that are on uh, my anime list is literally not enough. So I had to make my own list on Google Docs. It is alphabetized. <laughs> See, this is the type of shit I meant when I said 
I could call myself a weeb, but compared to you, I'm a normie. So that's some <laughs> crazy shit that you just that you. I've heard this before, but the, I, I know for certain the podcast hasn't. So, just the amount of emotion I got when I first heard this is just like, man, how is it, how is it that I have no bitches <laughs> when you're doing this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, I mean, I guess I just dated girls that were into anime back then. Oh, God. I guess, yeah, I think every girl I've dated has been into anime somewhat. So oh, I just yeah. have an That'll extremely deep knowledge base on that specific thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> if anybody can uh, you know, help Tyler with his crusty bed, leave a comment down below. Yeah, if you know <laughs> how to do laundry. Can, if we can get this... Uh... If you know how to do laundry, <laughs> if, uh, Tyler, have you not been doing any laundry? <laughs> okay, wait. I know a startling statistic. <laughs> this is a horrible start. Let's hear it. <clears throat> okay, on average, if you ask a girl how often, like like a single woman, right? Uh huh. Like a single working woman. If you ask a single working woman on average how often she washes her bed sheets, she'll say. Twice a month. Oh, fuck, he brought up bed sheets on Cooked. It's so over. Okay, keep going. If you ask Twice the average bachelor, the average single working male, <laughs> how often they wash their bed sheets, I already know where this is going. It's like once a year. <laughs> we, as, we as a sex are cooked, bro. <laughs> they know. They know. <laughs> That's tough, dude. Who leaked? Who leaked? <laughs> it's tough. A lot of people. It was a fucking survey. <laughs> okay, be honest, though. How often do you wash your bed sheets? Uh, honestly, probably, like, once every, like, two months. I'm about the same, actually. I couldn't imagine having unwashed bed sheets for a whole year. Like, just once a year. That's crazy to me. I mean, That's eventually there's just so much cum, and you know, I have to fucking, I have to wash. <laughs> and when I when I jump on my bed and it hurts my back, I know yeah, I gotta yeah, do yeah, the laundry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a real oh, crunchy, God. real oh, crunchy when I get in that. there. Oh god, dude. Anyways, it's like laying down sheets. on a thin <laughs> sheet of ice on a pool. <laughs> this is possibly the worst day this I've is had. The worst, <laughs> this is the worst fucking bit we've ever done, dude. This is it's the, just crunchy <laughs> bed sheets. This is the worst bit we've ever fucking this is done, the dude. The worst fucking bit, bro. What the fuck? Holy <laughs> fuck. God, I hope. Can I we hope get this off of the fucking that crusty up, bed bro. sheets? I hope this ain't the episode that blows up. <laughs> we, get, we should just start over and delete this whole fucking <laughs> <laughs> this whole podcast is broken. <laughs> oh, guys, I lost the audio for this podcast. Oh, no. Oh, no. We'll have what to record fuck? another one. Oh, beans. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, so, um, any, what any famous people viewers, do you think uh, you could beat up? <laughs> oh, dude, definitely um, that guy that played Tyrion Lannister. What? The... The oh you know, Game, Game of, of Thrones? Thrones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the the little person. The I little you're gonna that. beat up the fucking <laughs> vertically challenged guy. All right. Yes, <laughs> I could. Oh, you asked who I could beat up. I'm just naming a list. You know what I'm All saying? All right. I guess that is. <laughs> All right. You know, I no, think I could also take him. No, let me let me ask you a question. Are we doing like? organized consensual fights or am i jumping these people because that's Ooh. gonna that's gonna change no you my don't answers. have the element of surprise in this scenario <laughs> okay so these are like consensual planned maybe even televised a little bit you know yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah. imagine like fights. octagon okay. fights octagon fights gotcha kamala harris kamala harris all right <laughs> all I right feel like I, I feel like i could throw down with kamala harris <laughs> holy fuck yeah on that note joe biden yeah, I could beat him up for sure. I win that nine out of ten times. Oh, I, I'd be surprised to hear the one out of ten, to be honest. He'd pull out some crazy shit. One out of ten is if Biden blast his Dude, real. every now and again, like one out of ten times, he just like talks me out of it. 
when he's when he's feeling um men um mentally healthy enough, Holy he can just successfully talk dude. you out. <laughs> he's like, you don't want to do this. I'm as old as your grandfather. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> he'll he'll guilt you out of beating his ass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> dude, I don't know. I'm looking at a picture of Kamala Harris, dude. She might have you cooked. See, right, right but I, I got her in weight class. I am not, I am not above drop kicking a vice president. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Dude, okay, so we watched... Are you talking about what we watched? The State of the Union Address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We watched the State of the Union Address. <coughs> because the State of the Union Address is supposed to be the president addressing the union of what its current state is you know what i mean let's literally you know break down the fucking definition of the title but you know i thought it was going to be summary i thought it was going to be very matter of fact dude it was fucking it was so propagandized like (laughs) it was so propagandized it was supposed to start at 6 p.m it started at 6 26 p.m. was when Joe Biden was announced that he had entered the building because obviously he's the one that has to do the State of the Union address as a president. Yeah. yeah. And then it took him another <clears throat> fucking like 20 minutes to get to the stage. Like, he got fucking a little lost a. on the way. Oh my God. But dude, it was it was genuinely so annoying to watch the State of the Union, just because like maybe every five or so minutes, um, the president would finish say something, finish saying something, and everyone on one side of the room would stand up and all give Dems, a standing ovation. All the hired Dems, yeah. all the all the Democrats would stand up and give a standing ovation because they kind of pretty much have to, right? Like. Yeah. That was, that was fucking rough, dude. I like the lady dude, at the MAGA hat. That shit was funny. Dude, she was you so know, fucking dude, mad. Dude, dude, yeah. <clears throat> and the literal first thing we saw, or at least I saw, was a fucking woman in a MAGA hat. And she just looked like the most pretentious Karen dude, you she have had ever fucking face. seen, dude. She had, she had hardcore bitch face. bitch face. Law, the long blonde hair that they all got. She was leaning over at somebody, and you know she was co- fucking cooking his ass. You, you know she was like, it's too hot in this room. Can you turn down the temperature, please? Okay, thank you. Like, like <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. She gave those vibes immediately, and I had seen her for 10 seconds. Shit's crazy. Yeah, no, she was... Honestly, the whole thing was a fucking... I, I don't understand <laughs> how you make a, a yearly State of the Union address. Or at least I, I think it's yearly. And then you also just like, like, I I don't know. The the way that I say it's so propagandized is because he was bringing up shit from three years ago, four years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was talking about shit that like. Like he was talking about January 6th. He brought up January 6th again. Yeah. (laughs) Which happened three years ago. Was it not? Was it three? Was was January 6th, 2021? I think so. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I, I think guess, it was I guess that makes sense, actually. And then he that's was that's... also bringing up like the start of COVID, and then he was blaming Trump for it. Did that not happen at the beginning of? He was him. Wasn't that Joe Biden? Wasn't that all of the? I... Uh... No, I think I think it was Trump. I think it started when Trump was still in president. It was. I think so. I'm fairly positive. It was. Oh, it's... it ended on the on January twentieth, twenty twenty one. So yeah. It... The start of COVID was still under Trump. Mm, okay. <clears throat> I but don't know. Still... What, who initiated the shutdowns, though? You know what I mean? Oh, fuck if I know. Fucking. Because <clears throat> whoever shut down the economy, uh... you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I think we could probably blame both, to be yeah, honest. Honestly, it's, yeah. it's kind of both on their timelines. That's fair. So. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, let's not die. That was a lot of coffee. Oh shit! <laughs> Ooh, wrong pipe. The wrong pipe. <laughs> okay. Anyways, before the fucking government tries to kill me, <clears throat> tell me, Tyler. Yeah, no more politics. If you had inherited an island from a oh yeah, oh my god, I almost forgot. 
Oh my god. Okay, so we have a I have a thought experiment. Guys, if you're a listener, you can do this. You can do your th- little thought experiment. Something something to maybe write down in the comments about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let us know. All right, but the thought experiment is as follows. <clears throat> you get a huge inheritance, someone you barely know that you are related to, turned out to be mega rich and gives you an island and a trillion dollars, but there's a catch. You can only spend the money on stuff for the island. You can buy whatever you want, any idea on the island. The island is pretty decently sized, like four miles at its longest diameter, and it's a tropical climate. What do you do with the money in the island? So I want to know. Ask so this. we're going to get Leon's first. I want you all to know, he asked me this, and my very first message was Epstein 2.0. Yeah. Epstein yeah. Part yeah. Two. <laughs> Epstein 2.0. I, I checked the uh, his Discord server. You made the and... joke first. You made the joke first. No, no, I know that. I know that. I'm just saying it's really funny that there was the same thought process. Because I checked the Discord server, and he had asked the same question to, to everyone there. And the first thing someone said was, not Epstein no one Island. is allowed to make Epstein Island again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dude, it is so funny to me that that was at least two people's very first thoughts <laughs> <laughs> when thinking of this thought experiment. <laughs> dude, I guess I guess it's just canon to just associate, you know, islands, islands with, with, with Epstein. <laughs> child... <laughs> let's not continue that train of thought anyways <laughs> children with children with the children, with children. fuck yeah, dude yeah that yeah don't fuck child anyway. island so, <laughs> child island what is this lord of the flies anyway Oof. so anyway, uh yeah um my ideas i had actually was thinking of this while i was at work uh, um initially it was going to be like a, a thunderdome type situation where i'd pit people against the against the death or I don't against know each other thunderdome is so just like a gladiator arena a bit pretty much just a gladiator arena i was thinking of doing that for a while uh and then i also thought of starting my own private army <laughs> ooh okay so those were the two main ideas i was working with Dude, you can but combine think... that you can make them you could do both that's exactly where I was going, actually. Ooh. I was going to combine it. So here's the plan, right? Okay. I get the island. I outfit it with everything I need first. Right. Uh, I don't want to get into specifics because I don't know the specifics. But no, get into I'm specifics. Spread, get as specific as you can. I'm going to spread the word to people, uh-huh. specifically the undesirables okay. of America, which would be immigrants <laughs> and the homeless. <laughs> okay. All people generally with not much to lose and would probably w- be willing to come to my island what is what I is them spreading up, the word i don't know <laughs> how are you how are you getting them onto the island uh, let's say let's say the news adverts i can just hire with the trillions of dollars i got i can hire some uh a big group of homeless people to spread the word around california i think that's why don't you just my why don't you just incentivize the homeless people <clears throat> Give them money. When you, you have money, you can just give them money. My, in, uh, in, what's it called? What would it be? In, in, incentives would be a house or like a, a, a private living space you get to yourself, right? A domicile, a private three, domicile. Three, a domicile. <laughs> three hot meals a day. And all you got to do is just work your fill, right? And it's not going to be too difficult, you know? Yeah. It's, it's a fucking island it's out there. It's not going to be it's too difficult. It's not going to take yeah. that much. The only problem with this anyways, is you're asking the literally <laughs> lowest level of effort people to perform this slightly of the fucking lowest form of societal effort. You're asking the homeless, homeless people. Absolutely. The immigrants, though. The immigrants are okay, where it's at. That, that, <laughs> that's my main that. form that's... right there. Immigrants is main form. <laughs> no, that's true. Honestly, fuck America. If you just outsource that <laughs> shit, you start you start looking for people in like Africa, dude. Oh my god, African immigrants. Oh shit! Actually, you're the so right. hardest you working so people. Right. African immigrants, absolutely. And then also the African child soldiers, because the, what have they got to lose? Dude. Anyways, all so, right. <laughs> so we've shifted your strategy a little bit, but we've made it better. All right, I'm in. We're taking in more people now. So they get all all the good shit. I'll I will set them up. I have trillions of dollars. I can afford to Literally. do so. 
But <clears throat> if they want to start making some real shit, if they want to, I will have a separate area of the island that is higher class. I will okay. make a class system on okay. my island. Sick, sick. They get nicer shit, nicer houses, better food, shit like that, you know? Things you would expect of a higher class of people. Right. And you can absolutely, just as anybody, earn your way in by making it through the Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So only one person in your in your family has to win the Thunderdome. And everyone can go to the higher class. Are you sure? So basically, Are you sure? We're talking, I'm not gonna lie about that. We're I'm talking, already making these people die. <laughs> I'm not to be not to be racist here, but we're talking African immigrants here. Those might be some pretty <laughs> big families, dog. No, I'm I'm Filipino. We have really big families too. I Dude, they lie, might but... be like everybody in this village is my family. <laughs> Three hundred people. Um, kill yourself. Oh, I'm only accepting family that's legally binding or blood. <laughs> Dude, they don't have that kind of paperwork in Africa. All right, your I'm system's a little skewed that kind of now. paperwork on my island. <laughs> Ooh, interesting, okay. It's my island. I can make them do whatever I fucking want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I want to make them sign paperwork to state who their family they is probably, before they enter the Thunderdome, then I'm going to make them do that. If they can read yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> if they can read it, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, well, all right. My island... Said has been like... My island's not controversial. That bad. My island's not that bad. Okay. Uh, bad. Okay. Well, actually, I have two. Okay. So you said you have two ideas. I also kind of had two ideas. Okay. Uh, my first idea was just to make like an expensive tropical hotel getaway. Okay. Nice. Which would be Something sick. Chill. That would be so sick to own. Oh yeah. Like like a private one or one that you're gonna like rent out to people or like people can rent. Dude, like so you know like the cabanas that like you see in like tropical places where like. You have to like literally walk out on a pier and then like in your fucking floating cabana, you can like look down and it's like glass and you can see the ocean and fish underneath. Like that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like those that expensive kind of shit, fucking bro. vacation spots. Exactly. Those look so Super sick. expensive they look vacation so spots. So dope. Oh my god. So yeah, that would be that was my first idea. And then my mm -hmm. second idea was just to create a total dystopian pseudo economy that benefits off of the elite and orphans. So, okay. <laughs> so this is where it gets interesting. Right, right, right. This is where it, it, it takes a bit of a shift. But let, let's hear it out. You never <laughs> know if it's bad until we, until we put it out into the world, you know? All right. So, basically, I take orphans in. Orphans have no home, right? I think that's a little bit better than taking in the homeless because I feel like the homeless are already kind of fucked. You know, they're probably hooked on <laughs> meth or something. I've already said I'm not above child soldiers, so... <laughs> yeah, but I don't I'll just want to take too. random <laughs> fucking... Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, so yeah, I want to get, like, orphans, adopt orphans. And then also, um, since I have a virtually unlimited amount of money, you know, we just... I hire up, like, like super, like, smart people that are, like, good in education. Mm -hmm. And then I just train these orphans... To become intellectuals and then yeah i mean that's and then you know they go off and you know we sign a contract or something they give me like 10 percent of all of their earnings i give them like a college education it's just a fucking infinite money for me okay but where the dystopian pseudo economy comes in is when they're growing up obviously the island has to be self-sustaining in some way right right of course so like i'd probably have to have something like i don't know like a, like a pharmaceutical plant or something and like there'd have to be like work to do like around but have you ever seen the anime oh my god what is it called there's an anime where the students are like sent to like a special school i think it's called like high school of the elite assassination classroom no oh. high, i think yeah, it's called like high school of the elite yeah yeah, yeah. high school yeah, of yeah. the elite so they all have like credits based on their grades uh-huh so like i would definitely implement that okay I like that system, but it wouldn't be on a class by class basis. I would have it more be like on an individual basis. Okay. I don't know. I feel like the whole class thing was kind of pretty I mean, shitty for for your for your goals and for your end goal. Individualism is is very important here. Yeah. It so, sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. I'd implement that. 
Yeah, and then All I don't right. know. They could have like a job around like maybe maybe somebody just fucking sucks at school and isn't good at school, <laughs> and then I just feel like maybe okay, someone just sucks. <laughs> maybe somebody just fucking sucks at school and they can't get their grades up and shit. So I just feel like I. No problem. I mean, hey, I wasn't a I wasn't a kid that could make hella good grades. You know, that wasn't my shit. So I would just be yeah, like, either. I would just be like, all right, sick move. And then like, if anybody wants to leave the island, I'd be like, sick. All right, back to the orphanage. You know, goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, I know. You, I know. Back to the orphanage is like the most logical solution. It's just like send them. But back it just sounds bottom. fucked up. But it just sounds. It sounds so fucked up. <laughs> back to the orphanage, I guess. <laughs> back to the orphanage. <laughs> Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. So we just send him back to the orphanage or like, you know, oh, fucking God. or like maybe there's like some manual labor that they could do around to like earn credits, you know. But that's the other thing is mm-hmm. I don't want to pay anybody on the island in fucking USD. So that's okay. where so I'm just paying everyone on the island in credits. And it is, that's okay. where the pseudo economy comes in. In credit is so funny. You you have made a dystopia <laughs> as soon as you introduce a different form of currency. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and also i'm just fully in control of the entire like currency dude that is so fucking great it, it's a it's it's a thing that overall has a good idea and in good form but, but also but is definitely got, taking advantage of people he is <laughs> definitely taking advantage of children of orphaned children <laughs> <laughs> But it's also massively beneficial to them as well. So it's like, yeah, yeah. You take the good and the bad. Where does this stand? <laughs> Where does this stand on the on the moral? Plane? I mean, to be fair, <laughs> fucking orphans probably wouldn't even make any money anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it. Uh, it would actually be like way more. I mean, like. I mean, the, 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 the slippery part is where I go, okay, now I'm paying all the staff in credits. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I don't know, maybe I give them, like, some extra money on the side, but, you know. At one, at one point, do they get USD? Do they get USD ever? Or do you just ship them off to, like, a college when they're ready? And, and they get... I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't even have there. them... I wouldn't even have them go to college. I would just have college educated people i mean all colleges oh, are fucking so like private. higher professors and stuff yeah yeah yeah. i would hire professors gotcha, so like gotcha. they would literally start like at the lower grades learning and then would progressively just graduate from college right off my island okay okay <clears throat> and just be college educated sent straight into the workforce or you know whatever level of fucking education they want to receive until they're just sent straight into the workforce okay okay that's that, that that's fair then they'll probably get a better edu- education than most people anyway exactly and then but i would also probably have to make my own bank and then just have them all open bank accounts which is where i would just siphon the 10 percent off of <laughs> see, see and then you say that shit and that's when it starts going down <laughs> why why would that go down siphon the 10 percent off of them yeah but it's in a it's like in a written contract you know what i mean when did they sign it? Oh, when before before getting contract? on the island. Exactly. <laughs> they have to sign. They have to sign the contract before getting on the island, and then as and then like you'd be like, "Hey, we can take you to this island, right? You're gonna be fed, <laughs> housed, educated. Like, there's gonna be like obviously there's gonna be fun facilities. You can't just like fucking raise kids with no fun facilities. You know what I mean?" Yeah, right. So, like, there's going to be fun shit to do on the island. It's a fucking tropical paradise. You know what I mean? So, I mean, Uh fucking, yeah. Like, and then, but the only catch is you got to open a bank account. We're going to, you're going to have two forms of available currency in there. Island currency, which is credits. USD, which you could get after. And then fucking, there's got to be, like, some legal loophole where I'm like, (laughs) you can't open another bank account with another bank. (laughs) Well, already in a in a legal way, I'm fairly positive those contracts would be null and void. <laughs> You're making a a life contract with children. I don't think it'd go through. However, however, let's ignore that. Let me ask you a question about your island. Okay. What type of person would you be to these children? Would you be an overseer? Big daddy. More so an administrative <laughs> person or a father figure? Okay, so. <laughs> Big daddy. 
<laughs> no, uh, dude, I, I'd probably just be like, I, I probably wouldn't even have contact with the kids, to be honest. <laughs> I, love, Sandra, I just love the speed of Big Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh, shit, that's Big Daddy Tyler. That's Big Daddy. <laughs> Don't talk to him, though. <laughs> Don't talk to him. Got thrown somewhere. <laughs> Pretty sure he killed the last motherfucker that talked to him, so. <laughs> he just said unclean and kicked them down the stairs. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Dude, or we combine both ideas, kind of like how you did. It's also just a tropical hotel getaway. All of the children can have, like, menial manual labor tasks to earn credits in addition to their schooling. Yo, like, yo, but- like, like they do laundry or something. You know what I mean? Like they do fucking laundry, housekeeping, fucking garden tending, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Right, right. But you have to keep these kids away from the from the people coming over to the island. Ooh, that is how you get Epstein <laughs> Island. Yeah, that is, dude. Because I unintentionally made Epstein Island. Doing- fuck. Yeah, you did. You really, you actually just straight did. You just. <laughs> Fuck! Well, the only difference Fuck. is you're not letting them come in contact with the kids, but <laughs> you just straight up people would call you Epstein too. <laughs> Damn it! Because I'm just saying, man. If I had figured out there was a an overseer just with an island full of kids, oh, can we, just stop calling me overseer. Care. Let's just say CEO. <laughs> Over- overseer, overseer has the big- worst connotation. Overseer, big daddy. God damn it. With an island full of orphaned children Holy allowing fuck. adults to rent a place there. I would think you're just the second version of Epstein. Oh, it's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> damn. Oh my fucking god. You gotta ask yourself, do you secede from the United States or do you or like you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, I, I'm I'm praying the I'm praying the island is in international waters. I don't want to pay taxes. Ooh. The fuck? Hell no. I feel like to I'd adopt orphans though, thing. you can't. I feel like you have to be a part of the United States. I would say that no orphanage owner is above bribery. Ooh, you know that's kind of that's pretty true actually. Because they get they get to get rid of a kid. Get rid of is kind of fucked up. Yeah, get they rid get of get rid of your orphans. <laughs> Get, they get to oh, have who needs adopted, those? Right? Ew, fucking orphan! Ew, kick. <clears throat> of course, there will be some that are suspicious of you, but there's oh, there's orphans all across America, or even the world. You'll be fine. You'll find a child. <laughs> you'll find a child. It's crazy. <laughs> you'll find you'll find quite a few. I promise. <laughs> I swear, the intention of this <sighs> was like to be nice to orphans. <laughs> But now you're just another Epstein. <laughs> we all get lost in our dreams. Tyler. Oh, dude, I'm fucking good. <laughs> it is estimated that there are between 143 million and 210 million orphans worldwide. Dude, I'm fucking. Oh, yeah, there was there was no question on whether or not you'd be able to find an orphan there. On the There's low end, <laughs> 143 mil. And you know that there are some orphanages, orphanages that just don't care about their kids. That will just give you that child. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I that was never in question. You'd have an unlimited supply of orphans. I'm just saying. So, oh yeah, dystopian pseudo economy where I train elite orphans. And, or tropical and my hotel immigrant getaway. Thunderdome. Where? <laughs> <laughs> immigrant Thunderdome. Mini <laughs> militia, dude. And you know what's really funny to me? In both both instances we have trillions of dollars trillions that is more money than we could probably even spend in a lifetime even with all of the shit we're buying right right neither of us thought it'd be a good idea to hire staff for the island it was use people for free labor (laughs) 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 oh fuck I'm just saying, man, I have an excuse. I'm a business major. I was a piece of shit to begin with. I don't know about you, bro. (laughs) I asked this question to probably 10 people. I don't think a single person said hire people. (laughs) I don't think a single fucking one. (laughs) They're all a little bit dystopian. This is itself 
a social experiment. <laughs> we need to find somebody that would hire some, like, just hire staff off the bat instead of making people do free labor. <laughs> or, in your case, pseudo-economic labor. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck. Oh, my God. Fucking hell, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> God damn, dude. I think the lesson to take away from this is that we're all just a little bit fucked up. <laughs> A little bit? That's generous. Uh, some of us more so than others. But <laughs> Speaking of fucked little... up, I have a fucked up joke. <laughs> Go for it. I think, I, think, um, I think we need a black guy on the podcast. I, man, wow, I can't fathom where you're going with this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Wait, take a guess. Take a shot at it. Take a shot in the dark. Take a shot in the dark, Leon. It's, Dig your hole, so buddy. Could, you got the shovel. Would it be? Would it be so that we could be just a smidge more racist on the podcast? <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. I think we should get a black guy because I have a, I have an idea, but only a black guy can do it. We should get a black guy. <laughs> we should get a black guy. Yeah. Crazy. Back to our dystopian okay. pseudo economies. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll pay him in credits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so we get a black guy, and we have him sing songs with rap lyrics and euphemisms of rap, but it's in other genres that are not rap, like country okay. or acapella. Okay. But they still so, drop, so like, rap hard N-words. <laughs> okay. Like, in a country song. I was gonna say, like, and talk about like, fucking we your bitch. Try and rap. We don't need black people. <laughs> now I see where you. are No, dude. I want like hardcore gangster rap, except they're not rapping. They're singing a country song, but it's 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 literally written like a rap song. Dude, I would be so mad if that doesn't already exist because that would be <laughs> so funny. That is such a funny idea. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen anybody do it. It probably exists, but <laughs> and then I and then I had a song idea. <laughs> oh God! But it okay, doesn't have any n words in it. Don't worry. You okay, know the song. Good. Okay, good. All right, it's like <laughs> baby lock the, the door. That's what I told your bitch last night. <laughs> oh my God! Just want to let you know fuck I fucked up. your bitch and sold her meth. <laughs> and I know that meth that pussy was tied. Is she paid with your Venmo? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's my example. <laughs> never had a never had an idea go from top tier to dog shit in ten seconds. This you don't crazy. like it? You don't like my idea? <laughs> I don't like your song. <laughs> All right. I mean, obviously, I'm not a black guy dropping hard ends. Oh my god, okay. I don't think that's the criteria I'm looking at here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <coughs> we need to hire a black man to do our Do wait, have you seen this skit? Have you seen this rap? skit of the dude where there's it's just it's like two guys talking back and forth and then like the guy comes up and he's like, Hey man, you owe me some fucking money, you better give me my money and then there's a white guy and there's a black guy standing next to him and he goes Nah, fuck you. And then the black guy drops the N-word. And then he's literally just there to say the N-word for the white guy. Oh, yeah. That's the <laughs> best skit ever. That is the best fucking most well-written fucking skit ever, dude. That one is so fucking funny, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> that shit's too good, dude. Oh, Lord. So we, we basically need that for... It's so funny because it's like he's saying it for the white guy, but it's a black guy saying it. So it's like, is it fucking racist? Is it racist? Are you really offended? That it's a black it's guy weird. saying it. Yeah. Can you get mad at that? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's talk to Twitter about it. <laughs> Twitter undoubtedly mad. Oh, my God, dude. Twitter mad at everything, dude. You could like save a the turtle and Twitter would be like, fuck you. You took him out of his habitat? That's fucked up of you. Literally. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, oh, so you know, you know how you said you have no bitches? Dude. Yes, I do. I have a joke about that. this. <laughs> I should have expected this one day. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. It's not about so you early. specifically. So you know how everybody <laughs> has like a gaydar? Yeah. 
like you know obviously your radar for how fucking gay somebody is i mean <clears throat> how gay somebody is <laughs> 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 we don't gotta put the fucking in there <laughs> <laughs> so i feel like in, in addition to a gaydar every dude has a baydar i guess i guess girls could have a baydar too where it's okay. you know it's your radar for how to find bay how to find bay yeah 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 you know bay right you've heard of bay yeah. I know yeah. it's a mythical creature to you, but like. <laughs> so this is the last episode of the podcast. Where, yeah, I'll be in it. Episode 2387. We're retiring. Yeah. We're retiring. Look forward to the new co host taking over next week. It's some ambidextrous dude. I don't know. Ambid anyway. Oh my God, dude. Hitting like three <laughs> callbacks from fucking months ago. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh God. Dude, I'm sending you to the Gaberhood. No, not the gamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, but I was thinking about like my Baydar, right? I was thinking about my ability to select women. And then I was like, you don't really get to like pick the people that you're attracted to. You're just kind of like attracted to them. True. And I was like, and unfortunately, I've been cheated on like four times. So I think my Gaydar is fucking broken. Your Baydar, you mean, unless, unless you've been hooking up with ooh, ooh. men. I mean,. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, All right. no, 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 let's Baydar's move on. <laughs> the, it was the unaware no, are you this, sure you didn't just miss her? No, 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 they're no, pretty no, close. No, they're pretty, like similar, yeah. I don't know. I don't, yeah, maybe, maybe I just miss her. Yeah, we'll, yeah, 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 yeah. Cut that in the edit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, we're deleting this whole episode. This is not me. <laughs> this episode is fucked. Oh my god! This is this is the episode that's gonna get leaked like three years from now when we okay, when we're famous. Sometimes and they're winners. gonna get us canceled. Sometimes they're winners. All right. Sometimes they're this episode. You're just gonna have to deal with it. You're gonna have to deal with it. Thirteen thirteen weeks we've hit rock bottom. <laughs> oh lord. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, dude. Yeah. I think my house is haunted. Why is that? The, my roommate's hair dryer upstairs was turned on. Okay. And she's not home. <laughs> Are you sure this isn't just she forgot to turn it off? No, she's been gone a while. Well, we've been doing the podcast for a while. I'm sure. Have you been? Why are you fucking bathroom watching, bro? Why, why do you know? No, I took my headphones off and the fucking and like I knew she was gone and I heard the hairdryer on upstairs. So I was like, what the fuck? I don't know. I feel like it was just on this whole time. Wait, have you been able to hear it the whole time? No, well, I can't hear your background, but I imagine like if you only heard it when you took off your headphones then you probably just couldn't hear it very well. But it was uh, on this whole time. No, I heard it the whole time, to be honest. <laughs> uh, see, there you go. Oh fucking a little stupid ghost stories ass dude. Dude, I think it's haunted. Quit lying to the people. <laughs> dude, I think it's haunted. No, no, no. It definitely turned off after she left. Okay, bro. This is fucking weird. All right. I played Jackbox, dude. Oh my god. So I've never played Jackbox before. And then I played. Really? Yeah, I've, I've literally never played it before. I was just like never really interested. You know what I mean? Okay. And then um, last night. Uh, I was in a, in the Discord that I was telling you about where they banned the guy for being funny. The autistic guy for being funny. <laughs> you got the biggest <laughs> yeah on the server. All right. <laughs> the biggest yeah. <laughs> That's some Riz, though. That is. No, dude. I mean, come on. You shut that down? Come on. You should have been like, oh, my God. Thank well, you. Anyway. Yeah, come on, man. A compliment first meeting? For that, real? I would kill for that. So, yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, we were, we were playing Jackbox. But we were playing Jackbox, like, really late. So, like, my goal was to watch my friend Pumpkin play uh, Chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime. That's okay. why I got in the Discord server in the first place. Like, that, like, last night was to get into the Discord server so that she could stream Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Because I bought it for her because I want to watch her play it. Uh-huh. So I don't want to play it. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a little bitch. I so you made somebody bitch. else play it? Oh, yes, 100%. <laughs> so I bought it for her and then guilt tripped her into playing it for me. 
That's crazy. The gaslight is insane. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I bought it for Guild Trip to play it for me, but then everybody wanted to play fucking Jackbox. But then like I also kind of know the people pretty well. Like well I like I don't know mm. them pretty well, but like I can kind of like pretty easily dumb down and psychoanalyze their sense of humors. Mm -hmm. And it just we just completely mental boomed and just every degenerate answer got fucking 100% pick rate every time. Oh my god. So I just started writing <laughs> nothing but degenerate answers and getting it every single time. Dude, that's like 90% of fucking Jackbox games. That's why I don't play that fuck shit anymore. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. It's either like your mom, something racist, or something incredibly sexual that will win most of the time. <laughs> you know what? Okay, you know what is funny though? I used I used my save answer on this one question because I just didn't know how to answer it, and it was like, it was like, what do you get when you take all of Johnny Depp's scarves off? What? Yeah, like what a random fucking prompt, right? I was like, I don't, yeah, I was like, fuck? I don't fucking know. So I hit the fucking save thing. I was like, fifty percent, whatever. And um, and it just put in jorts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, that's pretty good. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right, yeah, they definitely won. <laughs> but I was like, what the fuck? Why are jorts yeah, I mean, funny? First of all, I don't get it. <laughs> the idea of jorts is fucking hilarious, dude. What? Oh man. <laughs> so good it's like it's, it's like what crocs used to be i fucking hate crocs dude yeah we get it you hate comfortability i wear God. i'm wearing sweatpants right now what do you i'm wearing pajamas not even sweatpants you in your own house bro that doesn't count i wear sweatpants <laughs> to work every day that sounds like a you issue that's heaven no what do you mean professionalism looking as no professionalism who cares i walk in people's backyards and then pet their dogs and then service their spa <laughs> he's <laughs> living our dreams i literally <laughs> am i pet dogs and then do like probably three minutes worth of work i'm a glorified overpaid cleaner you were what middle america should have been <laughs> yeah Man, I'm still trying to find one of those jobs I can get without a college degree for 100k a year. Uh, well, I don't make 100k a year. Fuck, dude, I need to ask the president how to how to get one of those. Or oh one my those god, are. you talking about during the fucking State of the Union address when he said <laughs> yeah. we have never had more Americans <laughs> making a hundred thousand dollars a year? Like, yeah. motherfucker, where? I live in California. Nobody's making a hundred thousand dollars a year unless they're working commissions and they're fucking like a real estate agent or something. I wonder where the most like survivable place is in America in terms of income. Like I mean, it's you definitely can, somewhere Midwest. You can live, yeah, yeah, you can live in the Midwest and like have a like a regular job and like afford a house and rent and stuff. But the thing is is then you live in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah, then you have to deal with the Midwest. Yeah, then you have to deal with everything that comes with living in the Midwest. I've seen Midwest memes, and I I am mad at how much they relate to me. Because <laughs> a lot of them are like, Midwest motherfuckers will say, let's hang out, and their version of hanging out is driving around town. <laughs> Instead of, like, actually going somewhere. Because there's nothing that to do. Is, yeah, that is my life, because I live in a gambling state. So everything I need to do, or, like, everything that's casinos. fun to do, I need to be 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. One more year and I can develop an addiction, bro. I'm so excited. Oh, dude, you're already Asian. You have a disposition towards it. You gotta be careful. Dude, I'm already the best gambler in the West, baby. Oh, man. In your family, <laughs> for sure, because you haven't lost yet. <laughs> hey, I play, I play the gotcha, you know? <laughs> you play the gotcha fun games? All right, you're already fucked, buddy. I play, I play the gotcha. Dude, you're, you're already, already fucked there. because gotcha games are literally zero payback fucking gambling. Dude, literally, how can I take L's? I get to look at a pretty anime woman on the screen. What the <laughs> fuck gotcha games are you playing? Like 80% of them nowadays. What are you talking about? That's like every gotcha game is look at pretty woman on the screen. Okay, the I fuck? mean, I think of gotcha game. I think of like Summoner's War, Raid Shadow Legends, shit like that. So what You're the disgusting. fuck are you playing? <laughs>
Oh, there's there's like the the real popular anime ones. Oh, like I guess Genshin. Genshin. Gen yeah, yeah. Gen I didn't think of Genshin right off the bat. Really? I figured that would have been the first thing you would have thought of. No, I don't play Genshin. That game is a fucking scam. Dude, that game fucking sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> that game is an absolute <laughs> fucking scam. I'll see clips of people playing that game, and I'm just wondering how do you do that shit for like your, most of your day, dude? This dude, shit it's looks the same. It's shit. the same people that play an MMORPG. I don't know. I I feel it is the same vein. It's the but same mindset. They just sit there. Brains. It's not even a mindset. It's a fucking grind set, dude. Yeah, yeah. They, their grind set is insane. If they if they applied that to real life, they would be millionaires. Yeah, but they don't. <laughs> I can say this as a not millionaire, by the way. I Wait, we didn't talk about die. what's victorious this week. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> all right, yeah. Let's let's think about our victories, dude. Have we been victorious at all? This week, dude, I don't think so. This week has been dragging on. I had like, a victory. It's so fucking long. What about, what about you? I had a I had a person who was a really long time viewer of mine who I needed to ban for doing bad things, and okay. I finally banned them. What the fuck? What? <laughs> we are cooked, bro. This ain't the week. We're just gonna have to accept that. Your victory is getting around to banning a Twitch viewer. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have to take our L this week. I'm gonna be honest with you, Ty with you Tyler. Dude, I don't know. This is, you can't do no, this. no, no. You're, you, can't, you can't negotiate this. You're just gonna have to accept this. No, yeah. no, you're no. You're gonna have to accept this. No. We fell off, okay? We fell off. We'll come. We'll, we'll, at some point, we'll be back, but we fell off. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this is the worst podcast ever. <laughs> oh, we made it 13 episodes and we're Before we fucking <laughs> flopped. Before we flopped. Okay, I had another idea. I had another idea. What? What do you what do you think our logo would be? Like if we had to like make a logo for the podcast, what do you think our our podcast logo would, would like look like? Do not ask me about graphic design, bro. What <laughs> no. <the fuck>? what? <laughs> you don't you don't you don't want to? I think first of all, you're you're reaching for content. Second of all, it would involve a dick somewhere. <laughs> no, dude. I was thinking I was thinking like you know like the cross-eyed emojis where like they have like their tongue sticking out? Oh, yeah, you would fucking think about that, wouldn't you? I, I think we would have, like, two, like, dumb cross-eyed emojis, like, with our tongue sticking. Like, maybe, like, one with the tongue sticking out and the other one, like, drooling. And then just, like, put them right next to each other. And then I feel like that would make it, that would be our logo. Oh, my God. Honestly, that could be heat. I'm not going to lie. Now that you explained it more, it does sound like it could be heat. <laughs> That really does encapsulate Dumb and Dumber. Holy D shit. Dim and Duller, not Dumb and... <laughs> dim and Duller, God damn it! <laughs> God damn it, Leonidas! Now we can't upload this because it's copyright infringement. <laughs> oh my fucking you know, God. You know how many times I forget the podcast is called Dim and Duller, bro? <laughs> oh my God. Holy fuck, dude. It's me. I'm duller this week. <laughs> <laughs> We're just two working middle class Americans. We can't be funny all to Dude, we just gotta we episode. just gotta keep talking about anime and having no bitches. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's what we gotta do. It's what we gotta do. As variety content creators, this we'll is, just be, this, we'll this just is be, what we have to do. We'll just be incel VTubers. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, the path fuck. we've chosen. It's no, LV tubers. It's LV tubers. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! That would be a crazy concept. What the? Fuck? Dude, I, that's the title right there. In LV tubers. <laughs> Could you imagine tuning into your favorite streamer where he just does just does a just chatting for two hours, completely shitting on women for no reason? <laughs> oh what god! The fuck, dude! I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I'm sick of you. I'm tired of this damn podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Did I did it's I tell you hell. did I tell you about the manga um uh pick me up? Yeah, you did. I did. Was that last week? God damn. <clears throat> that was that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna end it all, dude. <laughs> Fucking a. <laughs> Holy fuck! Wait, 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 wait! I have other I have other animes to talk about. I have other animes to talk about that I watch. <laughs> the recovery attempt is insane. Holy fuck! <laughs> please save me. Wait, wait, wait. Don't don't stop the episode yet. I can make a funny. <laughs> I can be funny. I promise. I swear I can make good content. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh don't fucking kill me! I Dude. Can- <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> okay, so I've been I I started watching The Great Cleric, okay. which is like which is like a short twelve episode anime. It's so fucking funny, dude. Okay, what's what's it about? So it's it's a guy gets isekai'd. He gets to pick some of his skills. He chooses to be a healer. And then he goes into, like, this world where it's pretty dystopian. There's, like, a there's like an adventurer's guild, but then there's also a healer's guild. And adventurers, especially low-level ones who can't earn a lot of money, die all the time because healers charge, like, a ridiculous premium for healing services. Wow, this is so subtle in its storytelling. <laughs> in 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 capitalism, okay. yeah. In capitalism, <laughs> yeah. It's definitely just capitalism. And then the main character is like he hangs out at um he 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 pays his dues at the at the healers guild because he has to because he's a healer, right? Uh-huh. And then he goes and works at an adventurers guild, and in exchange for the guildmaster training him. He'll he'll heal like whoever at the guild for free. Mm, okay, but it's also really good for him in the beginning because you know he is useless. Like he knows nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. So so he gets to do all this shit. Like, dude is fresh <laughs> off the isekai train. You know what I mean? Fresh off a of death, trying to get my bag up. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> Dude, that's also funny if you think about it. Every isekai, you get isekai and then all they're focused on is, I'm going to get jacked or I'm going to get rich. Yeah, right. I mean, honestly, you go into a new world. What else are you thinking of? Um, My immediate thought is I'm living a different life and that's going to be being fucking yoked and getting my money up. Dude, honestly, if I got isekai into a world where like goblins and shit existed, dude, I would I'd probably... Like like high fantasy realm, I'd, I'd probably be Goblin Slayer. But like, let's be honest. But like, <laughs> dude, I think being Goblin Slayer would be the coolest fucking thing. Like, just being a tactical genius, but only for these little guys. No one fucking cares about. <laughs> well, the only reason he ever wanted to kill goblins was well, one because he had a fucking. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Goblin Slayer was an autistic dude, one hundred percent. Oh, he's gotta be. He's there, gotta there's no be. fucking way. He's he's gotta be. Did you see him? Did you see him drop uh, drop the fucking bag with the the priestess, la- the high priestess lady? Yeah. When she was when she was risen him up, man, he's gotta have autism. There's no way. Yeah, the the inability to see cues is insane with Goblin Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> That's true anime protagonism. Oh yeah, man, dude. Wait, I've is that never... the truth behind anime protagonists? They're just all incredibly autistic. <laughs> that might be the case. Yo, I that, think we cracked. We that cracked might anime. be the case. We figured it out. <laughs> oh, they actually talk about that in the Great Cleric. Are you serious? I'm not even okay. So they well, they don't talk about autism specifically, but they talk about like why he doesn't give a fuck about women. So like he. <laughs> He, he drinks this thing called Substance X in The Great Cleric. And this is a little bit of a spoiler, but not really, because it's, it's just like a joke that they make. Uh-huh. Um, but basically, he drinks Substance X, and what it does is it improves his growth rate. So he has like a crazy growth rate, because he's like the only person that's drinking the Substance X. Because it, uh-huh. it's like, it smells like vomit. <laughs> so nobody <laughs> drinks it. You know what I mean? Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, would you drink something that just smelled like vomit? Probably not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't drink the the shit, the poo flavored soda. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So he's drinking fucking hot dog water all fucking dime, and then <laughs> fucking he's getting stronger from it. But what? But they literally specify that there's three types of like energies, and one of them is sexual energy. Oh, 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 oh. so the three things that. Every human is driven to do, right? Every human is driven to sleep. Fuck, eat, and fight. You're literally... Oh. No, you're very close. You're okay. <laughs> sleep, eat, and fuck. <laughs> I was one off. <laughs> yeah, you were one off. Very close. Very, two for three is pretty good. So yeah, sleep, <laughs> eat, and fuck. So he, goes, so he goes through his little mental catalog and he goes, do I want to sleep? He goes, yes, I love sleeping. And he goes, do I want to eat? And he goes, yes, food is fantastic. I eat all the time. And then he goes, do I want to fuck? And then he mentally pictures, like, the four ladies that he's met that are, like, hot and have had, like, the most, uh -huh. the most like, screen time with him. And he goes, nope, I lost it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the other two. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, fuck, fuck, I have no sex drive. <laughs> <laughs> because he he had one in the last world before he got isekai oh oh he lost his he lost it he lost it it's gone <laughs> oh man that's so fucking funny <laughs> it is it's dude the great cleric is funny i would recommend it i would recommend and for anime oh watches my God. it's only 12 episodes you will enjoy it oh I'm, i have to check this shit out <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so fucking funny <laughs> oh man you know I'm surprised you called it the great cleric and not say a muso salary man isekai da iki <laughs> but no I'm reading I'm, Dude, the I'm watching so long. I'm watching everything on Crunchyroll I'm watching everything on Crunchyroll uh, okay 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 <laughs> just fucking drop the oh my god Dude, I was trying to go for it, but it's just so fucking long, and I don't speak Japanese. I, I don't know how to say this shit. Dude, all right. I think we just call the episode here. Upload it as is. I'm sorry. It's fucking garbage. Uh, wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's add our most garbage tack on to the end, too. Wash your hands. Oh, my God, dude. Like and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. If I guarantee you nobody made it this far. But, you know... <laughs> Watch a different episode. Watch it's a so different podcast. <laughs> Watch a different podcast. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. No, yeah. Watch a different fucking episode. <laughs> Watch gay zombies. Don't zombies. fucking like this one. If you like this one, you're weird. You're weird if you like this one. If you like this one, you real. You real as fuck, but <laughs> you're invited to my wedding. <laughs> Invite, yeah, I'm God. Invited to Leon's wedding. That'll never happen. Holy fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. Man, stop the podcast. I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Like and subscribe. Please. I don't know where I am!